Hey guys, welcome to this video and it's time to take a look at the fingerprint sensor on Huawei Honor 6X. Now if you have seen the unboxing, you must remember that when I was unboxing this device, the sticker that was pasted on the screen said that this is fingerprint sensor 3.0. So this is the latest fingerprint sensor from Huawei and the unlock time is 0.3 seconds. Now you must remember a few things about this fingerprint sensor first and that is uh, that this is not a clicky button here this is just a sensor here all you have to do is place your finger on it and it will unlock the device for you and it's really fast let me show you so the screen is locked now and let me put my finger here and there you go it's unlocked let's do it again and there you go before you turn the device over it will be unlocked and ready for you so it's really fast and it works very well and you know it's really dependable and it can really work in any direction so you can actually use it like this as well in upside down direction so if i put my finger here like this it will unlock the device let's go again there you go let's go ahead and see what other functions this fingerprint sensor can do so go in settings and go in fingerprint id in here you will see some options here so you can actually take photo with this fingerprint sensor you can answer a call with this fingerprint sensor so if you turn on these options you can use this fingerprint sensor for other options as well like you can take a photo and you can answer a call all you have to do is touch and hold the fingerprint sensor to answer a call and it can stop an alarm again you have to touch and hold the fingerprint sensor to stop the alarm we have also got some slight gestures here so it can actually show you the notification panel if you slide on it so if you slide down like this on it it will open the notification panel and if you slide back up like this it will take away the notification shared so you can really do it it's really easy and convenient then you can also browse photos with it so let me just give you the demo of all of these now let's go in the camera and take a photo here and i'll just you know touch this fingerprint sensor and it will take a photo there you go it just took a photo and obviously i cannot do a demo of the call and alarm thing but if you place your finger on the scanner and hold it it will take the call for you and it will stop the alarm as well now let's go and you have already seen this notification shared thing let's go in photos and show you how you can browse with it so let's go in magazine here and we've got some photos now all you have to do is slide on the scanner and it will you know move it and browse your photos for you just all you have to do is move it like this now it says down here that these touch control gestures can be performed with any finger and do not require a fingerprint to be enrolled so you can actually use your fingerprint sensor here to use these gesture controls here so you can use the notification panel and you can use this browse feature and take a photo answer a call and stop alarm with the fingerprint sensor without having any fingerprint enrolled already so if you don't use your fingerprint scanner for unlocking your device don't worry you can still use these features here now let's get into another interesting part here that is fingerprint management go in here put in your password and there you go you can obviously unlock the screen you can access safe and access app lock as well so safe is basically um, a file manager feature if you go in file manager here and you will see this option called safe so basically what you can do here is that just put in your password fingerprint sensor and now you can actually store your images videos audio and files here and then we have another feature here called app lock so we have app locker built into this device as well so you can use your fingerprint sensor again to lock and unlock the apps so you can lock any of these apps and then unlock them with your fingerprint sensor and let's go ahead and see a demo of it and i've got asphalt extreme locked here let's go back and look for asphalt extreme there you go i try to open it and it does not open ask me for a fingerprint sensor and i put my finger verified and there we go now you can actually have total of five fingerprints enroll in here so i've got four already and i deleted one more just to show you how you can enroll it so we have this option here called new fingerprint go in here and in here just start rolling your finger start placing it on the fingerprint sensor different edges tips and base of your finger and once you're done it will tell you which area is weak and you can unroll it again and there you go and it's unrolled now you can use it to unlock this device and just see how fast it is it's crazy fast does not take any time so that was it about the fingerprint sensor on this device and it works very well it's really dependable reliable and works 99 percent of the times 
Now I just want to address one more issue here which a lot of people ask me when I did Huawei P9 Lite uh, sensor review and that is what happens if you put in a wrong fingerprint and what happens if it gets locked. So let's go ahead and see what happens if it gets locked. So there we go. Let's put in a wrong fingerprint that I have not registered here. And there you go. 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. I have total of 5 attempts. Now it's telling me that I have to wait for 30 seconds to unlock the device and try again. So there you go, 20 seconds left. Now I can put in a pin here and unlock the device. So either wait for 30 seconds and try another fingerprint or just put in a pin and it will unlock the device. So that was it about the fingerprint sensor of Huawei Honor 6X. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments. You can catch me up on Twitter as well. I'll put the links in the description and at the end of the video. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.